In the Celsius temperature scale, the freezing point of water is set at zero degrees. In the Fahrenheit temperature scale, 32 degrees is the freezing point of water. The formula to convert degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit is F of C equals 9 over 5 C plus 32. In part A, we'll determine the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit for 28 degrees Celsius. Start with F of C equals 9 over 5 C plus 32. We can use this function to convert degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. Replace the function input with 28. F at 28 equals 82.4. Therefore, 28 degrees Celsius is equivalent to 82.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we'll move on to part B. Derive a function, C of F, to convert degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. Does one need to understand the concept of an inverse to accomplish this? Before we begin, let's take a look at rearranging a function. The function m of n can be converted to n of m by a simple rearrangement. To illustrate this, we'll convert the function m of n equals 3n plus 6 to a new function represented by n of m. We write m of n as m so the following steps will be more clear. Rearrange the equation so the term with n is on the left side. Divide both sides of the equation by 3 to get n by itself. We can rewrite n as n of m, since the line m over 3 minus 2 is a function. We did not swap variables at any point in the rearrangement. Now we'll return to the solution for part b. Begin with the Fahrenheit function. We write f of c as f to make the algebraic steps simpler. Isolate the term with c. Multiply both sides of the equation by 5 to eliminate the fraction on the right side. This gives us 5f minus 160 equals 9c. Rewrite the equation so the term with c is on the left side. Divide both sides by 9 to isolate c. Replace c with c of f since we have a function. In part c, we'll use the function c of f from part b to determine the temperature in degrees Celsius of 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Start with c of f equals 5 over 9f minus 160 over 9. Replace the function input with 100. C at 100 equals 37.8. Therefore, 100 degrees Fahrenheit is equivalent to 37.8 degrees Celsius. In Part D, what difficulties arise when you try to graph f of c and c of f on the same grid? We can graph f of c equals 9 over 5c plus 32 without any problems. But how do we graph c of f equals 5 over 9f minus 160 over 9?
C of F can't be graphed since its dependent variable is C, but the dependent variable on the graph's y-axis is F. This is a mismatch. Let's move on to part E to see if inverses can help us graph something equivalent to C of F. In part E, we'll derive F inverse of C. How does F inverse of C fix the graphing problem in part D? Start with the original function, f of c. We write f of c as just f to make the steps more clear. Swap f and c. Isolate the term with f. Multiply both sides of the equation by 5 to eliminate the fraction. Distribute 5 through the brackets. Rewrite the equation so the term with f is on the left side. Divide both sides by 9. Finally, replace f with f inverse of c since we have the inverse function. Now we'll compare the rearranged function c of f from part b with the inverse function f inverse of c we just derived. In c of f, the dependent variable is degrees Celsius. In f inverse of c, the dependent variable is degrees Fahrenheit. C of f can't be graphed on the same set of axes as f of c. However, f inverse of c can be graphed on the same set of axes as f of c. The concept of an inverse is required if you want to rearrange a function, yet still be able to graph both the original and rearranged functions on the same set of axes. In this question, we can't graph f of c and c of f together, but we can graph f of c and f inverse of c together. In part f, we'll graph f of c and f inverse of c. What does the invariant point for these two graphs represent? First draw the graph of f of c equals 9 over 5c plus 32. Now draw the graph of the inverse, f inverse of c equals 5 over 9c minus 160 over 9. The invariant point occurs when the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit is equal to the temperature in degrees Celsius. Negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to negative 40 degrees Celsius.